coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this right here is a spectacle, folks. I'm not sure I ever thought I'd see the day that an elite heavyweight boxer like this chooses to ply his trade, potentially long-term, in mixed martial arts. Here he is, Anthony Joshua, two-time unified heavyweight champion and the Vladimir Klitschko killer. And now the question beckons, what is it gonna be like as he tries to test his elite boxing skills in this MMA setting? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Dubois. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Anthony. Joshua! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. standing outside hoping to be inside the arena all the way back to UFC 75 champion versus champion. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Oh! And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that weapon. He's finding a hole for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping the elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that punch. Big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, huge Superman punch. Punch coming and 
blocked. Look shot. Oh. Oh, oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. So if you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. A good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Ball fades upstairs and lands crushed. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That will land the perfect for this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. And he landed the right hand there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Left-right combo is good. Whiffs on that offering. Timely defense there, huge block for him. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Sneaky head kick. He's got the single collar tie. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice straight punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice move done as he gets the double leg takedown. Five minutes in the books. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Are you ready? Are you ready? Second round here. Series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Punch is blocked. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Some real power shots here. Oh! Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the box. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that oh. finish down. Do 
some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Timing. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Twenty seconds left. Punch over the top. Puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Defensively to block the strike there by Joshua. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without him. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. He had him hurt. Single collar tie, and they separate. Big punch land over the top. I was gonna follow this one. He blocks the punch. Well, missed on that one. Ball oh, lands the double jab. Those are gonna start to take their effect. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal to this point. He's fighting, and he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Nice one-two there. Clip with the right hand. And DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Some nice back and forth action here. 
Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here too. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Five minutes in the books. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. There, DC. Great job landing that punch. Joshua gets hit by that leg kick. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defense of that muscle. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away there. Oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Ooh, what a punch. Notice the drive. Look at how he drives the knee right into the midsection. Oh, nice knees by him. Man, he does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the target tonight. They talk about oh, the That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, he connects with another uppercut. He's landed a few big ones so far. That is his best punch. He finds it from so many different positions, and he can find that uppercut from both sides of the body. Finish it, finish it. Let's go, let's get the takedown. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Pretty significant well to the left side. That was a thudding leg kick. Joshua gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Beautiful body kick. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Wild swing there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, blocks the shot. Nice 
Anderson with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Misses with the right hand. Round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, brutal move of the body. Oh, oh, so there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, both, both landed. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, and he wow. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So fight a little bit. Oh! Establish that jab once again. Oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Back to the feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice punch by Joshua. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh! He's out! Oh my goodness! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Joshua. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.